Number two, Vinnie Cugini can finally breathe a sigh of relief, breaking a record that's been in place for three decades. More emotional than I thought, but I mean, it's great. It's a great feeling. I'm just super proud of myself. I'm going to be completely honest with you. The name Vinnie Cugini. Now etched into Pennsylvania sports history. We never expected this, but over time it was getting closer and closer and it was tolling on us a little bit, but we're just glad that it happened. Now he could just relax and be a senior. I cried. I felt it. I 100% felt it for him. So I've, we've been, I feel like Vince and I have been carrying a lot of this like for him too as his parents. So yeah, it's definitely a relief that it's it's over. It did not come easily, but with just over two minutes left in the game, Cugini eclipsed Tom Pipkin's long-standing record, giving fans, including retired Steelers great Ryan Chazier, 2,839 reasons to cheer. It didn't matter if I got it today or tomorrow. I just came out here wanting the win. But I mean, I'm just glad I got it tonight, got it over with. We have another game tomorrow, so pick it up from there. In a playoff hunt where every game matters, Aquinas ultimately came up short against host Neighborhood Academy. But Vinny's not taking his foot off the gas. This, this shows how Vinny plays and how he scores. He's not 6'5". I mean, he's lightning fast, but he earns every point by working. And he's the hardest worker. And everyone says that, but it's true. He's one of the hardest workers I've ever seen or known. No doubt, Vinny cugini has got a lot of fans around here. As soon as the game ended, he was signing autographs for little kids. Perhaps in the years ahead, he'll be signing many more. Mike Valenti, Pittsburgh's Action News.